Over the last couple of months, my kitchen has undergone a complete transformation. In our last episode, we got organized, and now it's finally time to decorate my dream kitchen on a budget. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here, and I wanna thank you all so much for clicking on today's video. In this episode, we are gonna be decorating my dream kitchen, and I am super excited about it. I was just showing you guys all the materials that I gathered to decorate, and now, let's get it started. Looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right you and I, the future is bright. If this is your first time on my channel, I just want to welcome you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like home decorating content, home renovations, clean with me's, all that type of stuff, then I definitely think that you will enjoy my channel and please consider subscribing. For all my returning subbies, thank you guys so much for tuning in, supporting, and showing me love. I appreciate it so, so much. And so we are starting out right now by decorating this little portion of counter space next to my sink. I started out by putting a mug tree and now I'm just adding some cute plants to bring some life to the space. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in now I'm moving to the other side of the sink and decorating the countertop with my bread box that I got off Amazon. The link to everything will be down below in the description box. I'm also going to add in some really cute utensils, some that I got from Ghana and then a couple that were thrifted or I've had for years. I want to give a huge shout out to my subby Tammy who gave me the idea to put a tray underneath my oils. I think it looks so cute and it's really going to help me in the long run making sure that I can easily clean up spills. Also, I do be reading y'all's comments so shout out to everyone who shows me love down there and leaves feedback. I really do appreciate it. you guys on Instagram what you wanted the vibe of this video to be either cozy and relaxing or upbeat and energetic and a lot of you guys said cozy and relaxing so I am trying my best to pull that off I hope you guys are feeling at peace and perhaps even motivated and inspired by seeing me decorate my kitchen and I hope you guys are enjoying the music and the vibe so far now I am moving on to decorate my shelving area. I had a little trouble with this, but I think I pulled it off in the end. You guys, please be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments. Single day, you slip my world on fire. You slip my world on fire. I don't know. I absolutely love decorating even though it can be pretty challenging at times but for me it's all a part of the fun. I always have an idea in my head of what I want my space to look like so I'm very choosy when it comes to like picking out my materials and you know 
deciding what the color story is going to be. As you guys can see, the color story within this kitchen is gray, sage, and then I added in rust because I feel like it really grounds the space and it just pops against like all the natural wood tones that I have going on. I just need you. I don't know what it is you do. I just want now we are adding an additional shelf over the fridge. I just felt like this space needed something a little bit extra because it looks so empty over here. And then also we're going to be adding in some hooks. I got these off Amazon and they will be linked down below. They were a pretty good price and they're super cute. I want you for myself every single day. Okay, so now I'm beginning to work on styling that shelf that we put over the fridge. I knew that I wanted some artwork to go over there, but when I went to Hobby Lobby and when I shopped around at other stores, I didn't see anything that just called out to me. And so uh, my grandma, she writes down recipes. And so I was like, let me put one of her recipes in this artwork. I just feel like it's so much more sentimental, personal, and it's a beautiful story. So I put some of my favorite recipes in there, like mac and cheese, sweet potato pie. And I feel like it just adds so much more character and personalization to my kitchen. And it's also a special touch. Now that the shelf was styled, it was time for me to begin working on my DIY project. I decided that I wanted to go ahead and make my own curtains so I could save a little dime. The curtains that I initially were going to buy were Roman Shays and they were super expensive on Amazon because they had to be custom made for my window. So I was like, you know what? I'm not about to invest in those right now. I just want to put something up here so I can have a little bit more privacy, but it also be cute. And so I found this fabric online. It will be linked down below. I think it was around $4 a yard. And it's a pinstripe white and sage pattern. And so what I'm doing right now is using fabric glue to kind of like him, I guess you can say. Those edges just make everything look a lot cleaner. Um, and then I'm going to hang them up. I sing along. I keep pushing myself. We drilled in two extra hooks next to the refrigerator and my garage door and I'm using these baskets that I got off Amazon and I'm hanging them there. They are so stinking cute. I put this little plant, this little flower in there from Hobby Lobby 
didn't really like it. So in the final reveal, you won't be seeing that. Um, but I just love the way these baskets look. They're so cute. So to finish off decorating, I added the larger curtain that I made for the big window and I'm also going to put some of my cute dish towels on my hooks. Canceled all my plans to be with you tonight, tonight. So just sit with me, talking to the night into the morning, building camp mystery. All right, you guys, so now we have made it to the end of today's video. The kitchen is fully decorated, fully organized, and I'm ready to show you guys. Here we go. decorate with me kitchen video and really the whole kitchen series like this just puts a lid on it but let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing like a full video just one video from start to finish of the whole kitchen transformation because you guys know I did like different episodes but if you want to see the whole thing in one quick 30 minute video let me know because I've been interested in doing some time-lapse videos lately also, I want you guys to give me feedback on what you think about the curtains. Currently, I don't know how I feel about them. Part of me likes them, 
part of me doesn't. I'm like, should I just get some bamboo shades and call it a day? What should I do? So let me know what you think down below. Not just about the curtains, but literally anything and everything. Also guys, do me a favor, scroll down and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. And if you see that that button is still red, please click it so you can join the family. Also hit the notification bell while you're down there anyway and like the video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.